So the big event is approaching. The big event is approaching uh, in a few days. The EU EU will vote. The parliamentary EU elections will make this video EU voting for Americans. Because <laughs> right? I don't know what the hell's going on, really. I mean, I kind of know what's going on. But you know what, man? It's fucking sunny out. And I don't feel like sitting here trying to figure out what the fuck is going on in Europe, right? I'd just rather get right to the point. I worry about my own goddamn country. Right? Just kidding. Right? Fucking, I do know. I kind of know what's going on. Right? So just just an overview, right? Because Sunday is the climatical climatical event where most of the where the vote is tallied in the EU parliamentary election. So um, voters in EU twenty eight states, twenty eight members, right? member states covering. 512 million people. So it's a half a billion people. Right? It's a lot of people. Right? Head to the polls this week to elect 751 members of European Parliament. Right? In, the, uh, in the ninth European Parliament. So this is the ninth time they're doing it, I guess. The turnout of uh, parliamentary elections has declined in the consecutive election cycles from a high of 62% in 1979 to 43% in the last vote uh, in 2014. Uh, so popularity of voting is going down. Uh, so this is what we, we need to look at, right? So the Netherlands uh, and UK will kick off the in-person voting process on May 23rd. So it's May 23rd through May 26th. On May 26th, this Sunday, right? Is it this Sunday? Yeah. This Sunday, that's when we get the uh, the results, right? Now, we'll talk more about the politics of it, but that's just what's going on. Let's look at the process first, the process of EU elections, right? And then we'll talk about the argument of uh, who's going to win, the right or the left, the far right, the far left. Well, that's all nonsense terminology, but we'll take a look at what the, what the uh, what the how the, the spin machines are spinning it. Yeah, so... So the Netherlands and UK will kick off its uh, the process on May twenty third. EU, uh, Europe, uh, Britain can still vote right because they haven't exited yet, so they still get their vote. Uh, followed by Czech Republic and Ireland on the twenty fourth. Uh, Latvia, Malta, and Slovakia, Slovakia on the twenty. <laughs> Sounds like. It sounds like a like a fucking like a, a menu when you go into the you know the Slovakia joint. Uh, the remaining EU countries vote on the twenty sixth. Right? So the big finality is the twenty sixth. Right? So this is how it stacks up, right? This is how many votes everybody gets. Right? So here you got, right, in two thousand nineteen, Germany gets. This is the this is this list over here, right? See this list over here. Is where uh, is you see how many votes each member state of the twenty nine member states get. So Germany tops the list because they have the most people, with ninety six votes, followed by France with seventy four, uh, uh, United Kingdom, Britain with seventy three, Italy seventy three, Spain fifty four, Poland fifty one, Romania thirty two, and so on. Right all the way down the list, Malta. Malta. That sounds so, so, so exotic. Malta. And I'm from Malta. <laughs> Malta. Est, Estonia. Estonia. I'm from Est, Estonia. <laughs> well, that's kids you so I could hear we're from you're from New Jersey. You're from New Jersey and Europe, you're from Estonia. Uh, anyway, so so that's the way the vote breakdown goes. I fucking, I, it's really sunny outside, man. I really want to go outside. I don't want to feel like talking about Europe. It's beautiful weather in, in, in New York right now. 65, dry, sunny. Ah, beautiful weather, right? We get, we're waiting for this shit all year round, man. It's fucking been freezing our asses off. Right? So so back to the parliamentary shit, right? Love you. So who's going to win, the right or the left? Right? That's the big argument. Right, left, left, right, right, left. Right? There's a lot on the line here, right? Because look, look at look what's going on in France. France has a a uh, is the third is the third largest uh, second right second largest in population with 74. They just edge out Italy and well 
Italy, France, uh, England, and Italy are pretty much the same in, in the number of votes, seventy threes, right? So, so there, sir, so France is a is a good is a close second in the number of people, right? And look what's going on with the yellow vest, right? The working class, right? I guess they're calling them the far right. When when the categorized when they try to stamp it right or left, that shit doesn't fly anymore. Right? That's all just propaganda. Uh, what is the what is what what they're trying to do is that the people are trying to push the parliament. Right when when the EU, the EU started, I guess 40, 50 years ago. Right, it was it was shit. It was impotent. It was just a a clever idea. They didn't have much you know influence. But now the influence is 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 a lot. Right, and it's influencing everything. It's influencing trade and currency and and uh, politics within the country. And it, it seems that the people of Europe want to go back. They, they feel like they made a mistake. Is it buyer remorse? No, it's that they don't want to lose their cultural identity, their, their, um, their heritage, their, uh, their way of uh, living, their, their, their lifestyles, right? They don't want to lose any of that stuff. So they want to go push back a little bit and get back to what Europe used to be and the identity of each of those countries, I guess, is, is really what we're saying. So if that's what you want, then they label you far right, right? But if you want more European, less identity, immigrants flooding the, the nation and, and uh, corporate corporations pissing all over everybody, then you're far left, right? Then you're, then you're centrist European. Right? I guess that's what the term is. So, so, Based on that uh, analysis, that brief, you know, dumb American analysis, right, is that you want to get, you want to get the, you want to cripple the European Union, right? You want to vote, you want to vote in the the people that want to Brexit, for example, to to break up Europe, to bring it back down to size is, is, is my, uh, you know, assumption, is my stupid American assumption of what's going on. Listen, so Sunday... Sunday, Europe, get your asses to the poll. Are the polls, are they, are they uh, legitimate? Are the elections in Europe fair and free? Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. All I know is uh, on this side of the pond, man, they cheat like bastards, man. They cheat, they cheat, and they lie, they cheat, and they steal, man. So I don't know. I mean, are the European elections fair in Parliament? Uh, I don't know. But that I guess Parliament also, that doesn't include like the presidents of the countries and such, right? That's that's a separate vote, right? So this is parliamentary. It's kind of like I guess our the equivalent of Congress here. Each each uh, state gets a, uh, a a representation. But listen, if you're not being represented, right? You know, taxation without representation, and in, 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 to coin an American, you know, not to coin an American phrase, but to, to if you're not represented, then break away, man. Break that shit up, man. Go back to the Italian lira and the and the British pound and the and the French the French uh, uh, what was it the, I forgot what the fucking currency in France was of uh, the uh, the 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 Dutch mark right or the uh, the guilder you remember the guilder in 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 Holland right? I traveled in in the eighties and the nineties I saw all these countries and uh, you know oh, so what you're gonna need to flash a passport again so what so you flash a fucking passport who cares. Uh, it's just here. It's my passport. You want my fucking passport? Take my passport, right? It's not a big deal. Break it up, man. It seems like that's what, what in my view, right, I'm, I'm trying to have fun with it, but it, it seems that my view, my view is that Europe needs to go back to a, uh, a, a kind of a, not a separatist place, but a place where the individual countries have their might and their voice back to hold out the oligarchs who are flooding the goddamn country. It always comes back that big corporations love Europe. It's been, you know, it's been infiltrated. It, you know, the rumor has it's infiltrated by the Rothschilds and George Soros and all the, all the corrupt, uh, you know, Goldman Sachs, right? They're, they're infiltrating the Europe, European parliament, parliament because at one point it didn't have any power. Now it has a lot of power. So there's a lot of interest in gaining uh, uh, that power. So, kudos to the uh, to to our uh, to our European colleagues abroad, and uh, get out there and vote and uh, pick a winner. You know, pick pick the right pick the right people in, in your own interest. 
Marcus Conti reporting. Don't forget to subscribe.